Nagina Group is comprised of uh, two publicly listed uh, spinning textile companies and one weaving company. Nagina Group is uh, also into captive power generation uh, and into construction and uh, equity management. Uh, Nagina Group is one of the oldest and largest uh, textile spinning and weaving uh, conglomerates in this country. Uh, Nagina Group has tremendously valued its relationship with uh, American cotton uh, over the last several decades and uh, increasingly year on year we have counted on our American supply chain with American merchants and partners um, uh, to uh, produce high quality products that are required for the domestic Pakistan market and for the re-export market uh, globally. Uh, Nagina Group is growing uh, with an expansion uh, in the coming fiscal year 2021 with uh, at least uh, 25,200 spindles being added as an expansion in Punjab and an additional uh, 20,000 being added in uh, our Sindh or uh, Southern Pakistan uh, operations and for that uh, USA Cotton is our preferred uh, uh, natural fibre partner uh, for growth. Cotton plays a very important role in our annual uh, forecast as well as our planning for purchase. USA Cotton being linked to ICE and USA Cotton working on a system of premium and discounts based on supply and demand and on quality and on the green card uh, system of uh, evaluation. Uh, it creates a very exciting uh, market prospect uh, for people such as us and others in this country uh, to purchase. Uh, we are highly dependent on US cotton. Figures in American cotton tend to vary depending on uh, international market conditions. However, USA cotton is a primary pillar of our global raw material strategy solution for navigating uh, the requirements of our consumption. Some of the key advantages of using American cotton is uh, the generally uh, better length, higher GPT, uh, contamination free quality and the uh, strength and sustainability of that cotton. We know what we purchase is what we will get. The green card system, green card system developed by the United States Department of Agriculture is perhaps one of the most sophisticated and advanced valuation systems on understanding what uh, cotton uh, metrics are and it is not hand classed rather the uh, it is uh, done through a scientific uh, and measured way so we know what we're buying so as a result uh, we are uh, always quite happy with um, uh, purchasing US cotton simply because of the uh, opportunities it provides us. One of the most important uh, qualitative aspects of American cotton is that when we address the subject of uh, spinning as a uh, or, or raw material as a barrier to profitability or an access to profitability, over time we have seen that in American cotton, trash, waste uh, and other uh, extraneous uh, uh, outputs that tend to increase cost in American cotton, those tend to fall if uh, the correct procedures are followed and a comprehensive uh, technical approach is done. So that's why American cotton is one of our preferred uh, uh, supply solutions. With regard to international brands, American cotton is becoming more and more acceptable uh, in fact, it is a driver, uh, but also in the domestic Pakistan uh, retail environment, American cotton is now increasingly being preferred because it provides uh, value for money and the domestic Pakistan, Pakistan uh, luxury uh, retail for gents and men, the requirements for American cotton are growing. So that's a very big achievement. Um, as far as international brands are concerned, their desire to work with American cotton sourced uh, yarn and fabrics 
is because of its contamination free nature. However, more work uh, on the branding and marketing for building up the partnerships for uh, USA cotton so, uh, uh, produced uh, yarn and fabrics and garments is uh, uh, something we, we, we need to work together as an industry with the Cotton Council uh, International USA. to the USCTP initiative, uh, it, uh, recently we were uh, approached uh, to join into it uh, and we are looking forward to joining it and I, I do think that sustainability uh, and uh, a credit generation system linking American ginners, merchants, spinning mills, weaving mills and then international garment uh, and, and, and the entire loop, if we, if we can create that value chain the way BCI has uh, done or other certification programs like Fair Trade and others have done. So I do think that uh, the loop will generate the highest amount of value uh, for growth of uh, American uh, cotton. With regard to advice for the Cotton Council of America, uh, which is a great institution and we tremendously appreciate all the work that they do. Uh, we feel that uh, a greater exposure to the Pakistan market for them, uh, such as uh, opening up a permanent office here, which are staffed by permanent employees, uh, even though the team on the ground right now is fantastic. But Pakistan now has emerged as perhaps one of the largest markets for the American farmer and Pakistan is likely to remain as one of the largest markets for the American farmer. Building up institutional capacity, building up institutional relationships and building up the infrastructure of communicative governance between uh, the districts uh, of America that produce cotton and linking them up with the consumption centers in Pakistan will actually generate the highest amount of value. Uh, for the American farmer and I do wish that this advice, uh, 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 well this advice would be rather shared uh, by most of the industry so we really would like uh, Cotton Council America uh, to move to Pakistan uh, and, and, and have an office over here so that's uh, some of the advice uh, I can give. We really wish Cotton Council America uh, a great year ahead and we really look forward uh, to advancing the relations between American cotton industry and Pakistani cotton consumption industry.